Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Burr and I'm taking a look at uh, Minecraft. Uh, one of the things I want to do over the upcoming year is do a better job of making sense of Minecraft and figuring out how to use Minecraft. And so as part of this, one of the things I'm doing is I'm bringing in my resident Minecraft expert, uh, Jax. Jax, introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sobert and I will be telling you how Minecraft works and I'll be showing you how it works. So one of the things is, uh, a couple different things, one, uh, Jax is my son, uh, Jax is my resident uh, Minecraft expert, uh, he is the one that sits around and regularly plays with Minecraft, um, and then also another thing is that Jax and I have been talking about um, Jax wants to set up and run his own YouTube channel for some reason. Um, so we're going to take our time and we're going to work our way through Minecraft and hopefully make sense of this. And hopefully this will be fun and of some value to you. So we're running Minecraft on a PC right now. Um, we're going to sign in um, with my CFC credentials. So basically let me log in here. And what we'll do is we'll do a series of videos where Jax will basically walk me and walk you through um, what's happening with Minecraft um, and how to set things up and, and how to build and, and stuff like that. And I'm interested to see what he sees and, and what he what his thought process is. Hold on a sec. Um, and so we'll, we'll unpack this a little bit at a time. So this is the main loading page. So you've already played this on a couple different times, um, and you set up my little character down there. Can you tell us, can you click on the character and show us how you set that up and stuff like that, and why you did things? So you click the little like hanger thing, and here are characters that you get to um, pick. All of them are free, so you can choose whichever one you want to. Let me show you all the characters. Now yesterday, or the day before when we were installing this, you told me that you were sort of surprised that they had all of the free characters. Are there versions of this that don't have all the free characters? Yeah, if it's on an iPad, then not all of the characters, like, just not all the characters are free. But on a computer, all of the characters are free. So maybe because I have, like, the educator one, it gives us the free one. Um, why do you like the characters? Like, Because they look, because the educator, it puts... Um, characters that look interesting to me that look very interesting and it and it almost looks like almost like a coding person but not really because it's almost like if you have Legos at home then you put just a head here and then a right tangle and then maybe you can probably fit the two arms in and maybe the feet so what do you look for like you're clicking through what are you looking for as you pick out characters like what do you like and what do you not like uh what i like is the everyday heroes and the story mode characters and i like the halloween costumes and the holiday and the town folk why do you like those as and opposed most, to like the other ones? Like why not the, the most, zombie looking ones down there? And mostly every single character because they look really cool and it's almost like uh, and it's almost like, "Oh, I want to try this one. No, try this one. No, try this one. No, try this one." It's so like interesting to me that mostly I want to try every single one. Okay, so you can pick a character and then can you come back later and change it? Yeah, like um, if you pick someone, like a police officer, and then you hit confirm, then there you are. That's so if you. I play and I'm the police officer and I go play for a little bit and come back and change, it doesn't matter, it doesn't hurt me or anything else? No. So click on settings. What's the settings do there? The settings just tells you, like, everything, like, how it works and, like... So like attack destroy button one, 
But it what is on your keyboard. So or fine. like it's like on your mouse, it's just the left one on your mouse, like the left click, but the right click it's the um, place block item a use item so we're on a pc right now like i said we have a, a mouse um, with a little scroll bar we have the keyboard and then we have like a wacom or wacom um, tablet uh, hooked up so that we can draw so click that's keyboard and mouse that's giving us all these shortcuts and settings for if we were to play this on uh, the keyboard specific buttons click on controller over there on the left so if we had a controller that we plugged into this like we have on our other video game systems that's how we would change the buttons we'd map out the buttons click on touch over there so it seems like if we hooked this up to the tablet we'd be able to move people around as well if we go over to profile um, this is my name here oh this is nice i'd like to be able to change that but i guess i can't right now um, cellular data doesn't really matter right now um, if we go to, what's the attribution? Something's loaded. Um, so if we go to video, I can look at the perspective that I use to look. So that's kind of interesting, like what the game looks like. Uh, the audio settings are all available here. Uh, other global resources. So here later on we can investigate like adding packs to it and stuff like that. And then what language we want. Um, so if we close this thing out, it looks like, um, and once again, we haven't done anything yet. We can see the version down here. We've selected a character. She's looking at wherever we go. Uh, we went through settings. What's this over here? So a little help button, give us an overview of, of what to do and, and how to make our, make our way around the game. Um, and so with that, it seems like we've got Minecraft up and running. Um, so why don't you go into play and show us how to like start off a new game. And then we can show people later in the ne next video. So, so what's under, so if you go to create new. Here are all the new um, worlds that are always free on a computer, but not on a tablet or anything like that um so we should say that one of the things we've been looking at is running our own server so that we can play minecraft and invite like friends and family in um like Declan and Eve. well in looking at the server one of the things we're looking at is it seems like there's versions of the server for just the like the desktop versions like we're on now the mac or pc and then there's versions for the tablet um and and mobile um, and so we have to decide do we want will most people play on one or the other um, so I can pick one of those what happens if you hit create new world it it lets you create any type of world it world type it lets you make it flat it fit it that means like a big giant world old that means it's just a small island and if you hit peaceful then it shows you if you want it to be peaceful with no one in your game, just like animals and stuff. Easy, if, if it's on survival, then it can be easy. Normal, it gets a little bit hard and a little bit easy. Hard, it's really hard to kill like, um, like other things. And there's something called noobs that come in your um, world and destroy your stuff. So, when you do, you normally make a whole new world or just grab a template that was out there. What do you uh, prefer? Usually, I do anything I want. Hold on. Usually, I do anything I want. Like creative, it shows you like you can do anything you want in there. Like add stuff and. You can do anything multiplayer. It shows you if you can put, um, if it's a multiplayer game, and it can show you, uh, and it can invite people into your game, but it can maybe be on an Xbox. I think it can be on a 
on a computer, but I'm not really that sure. We'll figure that out. Game. Um, what's this word? So you can activate cheats. So you yeah. can have cheat codes for it. It, can, it shows you active, active cheats. Show coordinates. Always stay. That means it's... That means it's never nighttime. Show classroom settings. I don't know what that is because it never showed up on my screen before. But mostly this is the whole thing that you can do, like that you can make however you want your world to be like. So if we set up a world and we can do the add-ons, but so exit that out. But that's if you make a brand new one. But these templates, the Oregon Trail, the tutorial, you were playing those already. And that just already is loaded in it in the educator version. All right, so. Except these two. So you created those two? No, these these five just show up all by themselves. Okay. If it's on a computer, it never costs money. But if it's on a tablet, iPhone, or a Nexus or anything like that instead of a computer it isn't like um, it isn't free it's just it costs so much money that you have to sign in but computers it's totally different because it's free when like you when you create a new world so you said you don't really have a preference for a template that's already there or a new world you create You'll play either one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the end of this video, why don't you click on one of those and show people like what it looks like as a world gets started? Have you played all these before? No, I never Pick played one that you haven't done these yet. These two, which I'll do the, this one, and then it's survival. Mostly, I think all the games are survival. I'm not sure. And then you hit create. So it looks like that those options and those settings that was the same sort of stuff that we saw uh, if you were to create your own so now it basically built us a world and there's stuff that's there um, and so this is when they make a new world they just drop you into the new world um, and you can see other people and stuff like that mm -hmm. and it depends on the type of world all right, hold and on. Then... Let's stop here. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop here. Um, this initial video is looking at what is Minecraft, how to get it started. How would you how would you describe Minecraft? Like, what is Minecraft? Like, Minecraft is a fun game, which these are almost like coding people, but not really. What does that mean? Like, if you're coding, like if you go to code.org or... Or a monkey like code or code monkey, it can show you. It's almost like Minecraft people, but not really. Minecraft is a really fun game that you just play. Like it lets like on survival, you have to survive with like you have to kill animals and stuff because. Um, you know, right now, if you are a real human, then you have to survive. And, like, if you don't have money, like, Minecraft doesn't have money. It just has, like, animals to kill and stuff. But except for villagers and things like this robot right here. All right, we'll get into that. So we're going to cut things off now. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this first video. We're going to do a series of videos looking at... Um, what is Minecraft? How to get around? This one was just getting into it. How to get it set up? Um, I think we'll do a video before this on like how to install Minecraft because that was a little bit tricky for us, but we got it up and running. Um, and in our next video, I think we'll just focus on like how to get around. We'll pick a world um, and get our way around it. So with that being said, um, how do I exit my mouse out of there? All right. So Jax, any last words? No.
All right, that's it. Very awesome. Uh, great exit. Um, so hopefully you value this. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave us comments behind. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Things that you'd like to see us answer. And thanks a lot for paying attention. We'll see you in the next video. And also um, comment down below and tell us how do you get Minecraft and how does it work and stuff. Oh, you're a pro on this thing. Oh, I should have had you around for earlier. All right, thanks a ton. Have a great day.